So here I am in YouTube, and if I want to be able to get to my videos, I have a couple of ways I can do it. I can just go directly to my YouTube channel. So instead of going to YouTube.com, I go slash, and I add on my YouTube channel ID. So in my case, it's Mrs. Alice Keeler. So I go to YouTube.com slash Mrs. Alice Keeler, brings you to my channel, which... I scroll down and I can see my recent upload so I go ahead and I click on the thumbnail of the video I want to look at and so I see my hangout video I'm going to pause it so it doesn't start and I just want to hover my cursor my mouse over top of the video and I right click on the video and I can copy the video URL so I go ahead and copy that video URL the other way that I can get there, I don't have to go to my channel, is I can just go to YouTube, and you'll notice at the very top it says Upload. And next to the Upload button is a drop-down arrow. So I click on the little arrow, and I can go to Video Manager. So I'll choose Video Manager, and I can see all my recent videos that I have uploaded here. And so I just go ahead and click on the thumbnail, I'm going to again be able to see the video, right click, copy the video URL, and then you want to go to your Google site. So I'm going to click on the pencil so I can edit this, and I'm just going to put my cursor where I want to have the video inserted. And so I'll go insert, video, YouTube. And so this little blank box here is for me to paste, control V on a PC, command V on a, on a Mac. So I just paste that URL. And you don't really need to change any settings unless you want to. I just go ahead and hit save and you're like, well shoot, that didn't work. Where's my video? Uh, no stress. Once you hit save, your video is going to be shown. Now you can see on here obviously it kind of overlaps. I'm doing a two column layout. So if you do want to change that, you can click on Edit Page again. Just go back and edit it, and the video goes away, right? So you only view it when you have actually saved. So if you click on the video itself, you'll notice what shows up is this Properties uh, button down in the toolbar. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that, and I could change the video size. You'll notice here the default. This is as small as it gets for this particular one. You could customize it if you want to. I'm just going to go ahead and leave it. But um, if you want to, you could do that. So that just embeds a YouTube video right on my Google site.